My dear students, as we are discussing about competency-based interviewing, uh, then the next thing is to differentiate between structured versus unstructured interview. Uh, in truth, structured versus unstructured interviews are there are some interviews which may have a fixed questions and some interviews which may have a number of questions which can be modified according to the responses of the candidates in the interview. It does not really matter what your interview is called as long as it is structured or rather as long as it is unstructured. So it is not a matter of a length. It is a matter of asking question. It is a matter of the way the question you are asking. It is a matter of what kind of question you are asking. It is a matter of the sequence in which you are asking a question. So structured interviews are different from the unstructured interviews. Consider typical unstructured interview. The managing director invites you in for a chat. This is just a chat. He or she asks you about your background. He may ask you, uh, please introduce yourself. So you have to give a very long answer because you have to introduce yourself. You have to talk about your name. You have to talk about your qualification, your experience, uh, your expertise, your likings, your dislikings, etc. So you will give a very elaborative answer in the start because he's asking about your background and in the background all different types of things would come in. Uh, this question can be a question where you went to school or university. Number two, what your family does. Uh, then number three, why you want this job. So these all questions are very unstructured questions. And uh, the MD or manage, managing director can expect different kind of answers from different kind of people. So so this is this is unstructured interview because these questions are not fixed and he would not expect very similar kind of answer from one particular kind of candidates. And he may have to develop further questioning, keeping in view the answers of these questions. If someone is telling you about his school, then you may ask a question that what was the medium of instruction in a school? What kind of subjects you have learned in a school? How this school helped you in your career? So such kind of questions can be modified, keeping in view the name of a school candidate is telling you in the interview. So that's why it is very unstructured. From this, he or she forms an impression of whether you have the potential to perform your job effectively because the purpose of the interview is to see, is to match, is to link the capability of a candidate to the performance effectiveness in the organization. You are just looking at one particular thing, whether the person is capable to perform any particular job. If he is capable, that's good. If he's not capable, you can refuse him. Wrong what they actually form an impression of it, whether you are similar to them and whether they like you, which in turn is heavily influenced by. So this, of course, can lead to a continuous re reinforcement of a status quo. So unstructured interviews may lead to the reinforcement of the status quo. In contrast, there are structured interviews. Structured interviews don't get around this problem completely. Uh, in any social interaction, people will prefer form judgment about other people based on their stereotype. Stereotypic view are very problematic thing, my dear students, that people are just having expectations and they have their own insecurities and be based on those expectations and those stereotypic views, they are getting some impression about other candidates. So we have to avoid stereotypic view in the interview process. What you can do by structuring the interview is to cut down on such problem, this is done by obliging interviewers to concentrate on, on information gathering. So, which has previously been identified through job or competency analysis as important for effective job uh, performance. So, what you can do in the structured interviews, uh, your focus need to be on competency analysis. Uh, you have to ask more competency-based questions. And those competency-based questions would give you an idea that whether the person is suitable for performing a job or whether the person is not suitable for performing this particular job. This takes some getting used to at the beginning as the process it is rather like asking someone who is yet has accustomed to watching a team game of some sort without any reflection. Uh, whatsoever, just watching the game as a spectacle to start taking account of who is actually do doing 
what is doing and to whom he is going to report and how often he is doing that particular job. Such kind of questions really help you to identify more suitable candidates through interviewing process. You have to see what someone actually accomplished. You have to see the accomplishment. You have to see the capabilities of the person. Is it, an, it is an analytical approach over the holistic approach that need to be encouraged. So if you are holistically getting information, this is not true. But if you are more analytical, if you are more critical in asking a question about the competencies and asking a question about the accomplishment of the candidates, obviously such kind of interviews are more structured and such kind of interviews are more suitable and effective in the interviewing process.